What percentage of people take their three or more times per week? Got it. 30%. Time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. The vote is higher. And Surveil says... 41%. Those people are selfish. True Patriots support Subway and Quiznos on their lunch breaks. Well done. You get points. Who's next? All right, I have a good one. What percentage of people have attended conventions or expos dressed as fictional characters? Fifteen percent. What do you think? Going with higher. And the correct answer is... Twenty-two percent! Yeah, not too shabby. Nice job, I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? I'm going to search for... What percentage of people have used eggplant emojis in a sexually suggestive manner? Thirty-eight percent. Okay, higher or lower? You're saying higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. Twenty-two percent! I'm sorry, but how did this start? I've never heard anyone say, check out the eggplant on that guy. And that ain't right. You'll get him next time. Next up. Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. What percentage of people use cotton swabs to clean out their ears pretty much every day? 27%. What do you think? The vote is lower. Okay, right answer is... 33%! Once a week is enough for me. I don't enjoy seeing what's in there. And since you were wrong, let's keep moving. Let's see where things stand after round one. Secrets. Can you keep that lead after round two? Time to find out. First up. Ooh, I remember seeing good surveillance for this yesterday. What percentage of people have put together mixtapes or other song mixes specifically for romantic interest? 35%. Have an answer. 20%. Now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Going with higher. And Surveil says... 61%. So many mixtapes, so few junk drawers. Nice job. I've got some points for you. Who's next? What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know! In a typical month, what percentage of people stay in bed past noon at least once? 22%. Okay, higher or lower?
going with lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 64%. Guess we only gather data on the childless. And sorry, no points. Okay, who's up next? Cacao! Sorry, I really like that word. What percentage of people prefer dark chocolate over milk chocolate? 10%. What do you think? Gotcha. Lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 38%! Solidly mediocre. And since you were wrong, let's keep moving. Who's next? No, it's not a euphemism. What percentage of people have touched camels? 23%. Okay, higher or lower? The vote is lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 45%. If I ever touch one, I hope it's tender. And that ain't right. You'll get them next time. It's time for the final round. Through sophisticated population profiling, we found the most popular answers to this question. At which sport would people most like to be best in the world? And here are the most popular answers. You get three guesses. Try to pick the most popular answers to get the most points. Good luck! Okay, let's see what you picked. What are the most popular answers? Let's see who's the head honcho. Congratulations, you're the most surveillance surveillance that I've ever surveyed. And this is Max. He's in charge of our couples department. What does that entail? He's in charge of listening in on thousands of couples. Wow, any good dating advice? Sure, love is a sham and we all die alone. So that's Max. Uh, let me introduce you to literally anybody else. What does that mean? Three. That's the alarm that goes off when the world's man One. bun population has eclipsed. The subliminal messaging worked! You're back for another game of... Espionage! Who's up first? Uh, I don't know, how about... What percentage of people have faked receiving phone calls or texts to get out of conversations? Have an answer. 
99%. Okay, everyone else, time to guess if the actual percentage is higher or lower. <laughs> lower across the board. And the correct answer is... 70%! Wouldn't it be easier if people could just say, you're boring the hell out of me? Too much? Who got it right? Ooh, points for you! Next up! Ooh, this is gonna be good. What percentage of people normally air dry all their wet laundry? Twenty-five percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 6%! That was a respectable guess. Let's see who got it right. Smart guess. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? Secrets. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people regularly wear baseball caps backwards in public? 17%. Okay, higher or lower? 20%. Ooh, everyone thinks it's higher. Okay, right answer is... 5%. We love people who do this. It makes retina scanning much, much easier. Is this thing broken? No, you were all just wrong. Who's next? Don't shank this one. What percentage of people have never struck golf balls with golf clubs other than putters? 20%. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? And the correct answer is... 32%! Yeah, okay, that'll get you some points. Who got it right? Here's some points! That's it for round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Round two, here we come. Okay, who's first? All right, I have a good one. What percentage of people have been victims of whoopee cushion pranks?
Okay, we have a guess. 25%. Everyone else, now it's your turn. Do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Everyone is saying lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 38%! Moving on. Okay, gotta admit, that was good. Wow, everyone was wrong. Okay, who's up next? Alright, buckle in, I've got one for you. What percentage of people have performed the whip and or nene dance routine? 31%. Everyone else, higher or lower? I'm just one of you is saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 20%! And I'm sure every single one of them nailed it. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. And what have we here? Ugh, I'm sorry. That answer was closer than 15%. Next up. Secrets. Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people over 40 have drunk chocolate milk within the last year? 42%. All right, what do you think? Just one person says lower. And the correct answer is... 59%! Let's be honest, most of them were drinking in sure. Who got it right? Here's some points! Okay, who's up next? Typey, typey. What percentage of people have more plastic hangers in their closets than wooden or wire ones? 50%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Unanimously higher. Okay, right answer is... 83%! No more wire hangers! Seriously, there's like no more of them. They're all plastic now, I guess. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! As for you, good job! Double points for guessing much higher. Uh-oh, final round time. By mining social media, we found the most popular answers to this question. Who's the funniest British comedian? All right, let's see the answers. But only the top three answers will get you points. Ready, go! Remember, you can pick three answers. Let's see what answers you chose.
Now let's take a look at the results. Who's that special someone? tax for the next three years. You're back. Darn, looks like I owe Paul $50. Well, let's start another game of... Gespionage! First up... Yes, yeah, that one between the index and ring fingers. What percentage of drivers have flipped off fellow motorists within the last week? I guess 51% everyone else do you think the correct answer is higher or lower <laughs> running out of time <laughs> looks like an even split Okay, let's see the right answer. 26%! Can't we all just get along? Eh, probably not. Who got it right? Nice job, I've got some points for you. Who's next? This one's worth mega millions. Not really. What percentage of people have spent more than $10 on lottery tickets at one time? Thirty-one percent. Everyone pick higher or lower. One of you is saying higher. And Surveil says... 42%! Don't forget to play 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, and 42. Let's see who got it right. Smart, yes. Here's your points. Next up... Okay, searching for non-Kentucky Derbies. What percentage of people have attended a roller derby match? 10%. Okay, higher or lower? One of you thinks it's higher. And Surveil says... 12%! 
Whoa, you only missed the actual percentage by 2%. Nice work. Who got it right? Nice job. I've got some points for you. Okay, who's up next? Oh, here's one we've been especially interested in. Don't ask why. What percentage of people have read at least one chapter of Fifty Shades of Grey? Okay, higher or lower? Secrets. Everyone says higher except for one of you. Okay, let's see the right answer. 18%! By chapter 2, many of them moved on, realizing they would never get those 30 minutes back. Let's see who got it right. Here's some points. We made it through round one. Let's peek at the score. Not bad, but things are a little different in round two. I'll explain as we go. Who's up first? Okay, here's your chance to clean up. What percentage of people currently have fancy soap in their bathrooms? Okay, we have a guess. 19%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? Just one person says lower. Now let's get to the right answer. 23%! Excellent answer. Points for you. Who got it right? Well done. You did points. Next up. We've collected data about everything. Even this. What percentage of people currently have on their cars at least one bumper sticker? What do y'all think? Higher or lower? Secrets. Everyone is saying lower. And the correct answer is... 24%! Dang! You nailed that guess! Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. Who's next? All right, Surveillance Pro, what do you have for this? What percentage of people have given at least one of their body parts nicknames? 26%. All right, what do you think? One lonely vote for lower. And the correct answer is... 
28%. Just missed it by 2%. Nice guess. Who got it right? Smart, yes. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know! What percentage of people are not at all pleased by having surprise parties thrown for them? Everyone else, higher or lower? <laughs> the vote is lower. Okay, let's see the right answer. 9%! You gotta be within 30% of the right answer to get points. Sorry, not sorry. Let's see who got it right. Well done, you get points. It's time for the final round. We embedded microchips in hundreds of subjects and found the most popular answers to this question. What mythical creature is people's favorite? Let's see what we have. You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Good luck! Don't forget to use all three of your picks. Okay, let's see what you picked. And what are the most popular answers? Now let's see those final scores. can never let you leave the facility. It's a great job.
welcome to Quiplash. I'm your host, Schmitty. If you want a different host, play a different game. I think I can guess who the Chandler of this group is. Let's get going. Time for round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious or not for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Let's take a look. First one, the worst thing to blurt out when watching a movie sex scene with your parents. Okay, choose your favorite. Next prompt, your immediate thought as you are attacked by an orangutan. Vote on your devices. Moving on, a pull string toy of this player would definitely say blank. Put in your votes. Next one, a weird thing to hear from your grandpa, I wish I'd spent more time blank. Ready, set, vote. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> round two is upon us and all points are doubled. Take that round one.
All right, let's get to it. The first prompt is a creature you should never find on a carousel. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. is a poor follow-up to the X-rated classic Debbie Does Dallas would be Debbie Blank. And vote. had an underground club, the secret password would probably be blank. Vote away. <laughs> Up next, a rule every gardener eventually learns Never blank the cabbage. It's voting time. Round two is now complete. Let's see where we landed. <laughs> and now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Follow these word lash instructions. Moment of truth. In the final round, you can give out one gold and one silver medal to your top two quips. Make them count. Great, let's see where those medals ended up. Silver. And finally, gold. Medals are nice, but points are even nicer, so... That's all. Now for the final scores. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha
Come on, wake up. Wake up. Welcome to Trivia Night, a thoughtful treatise on the futility of life. Or at least that's how I describe it on the Facebook event. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! Does anyone listen to these tutorials? Who knows? Let's just play. Okay, first question. In mathematics, what does I stand for? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. You're in for a treat. Welcome to the Kelly Floor. We're going to play chalices. There are four chalices. Half of them are poisoned. To drink from. I'm pretty excited to show off my chalice collection. Good to the last drop. If you know what I mean. Now let's see what everyone drank. Hey, at least now you know what poison tastes like. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's a ghosty ghost. But trivia is not just for those drawing breath. Keep playing and you might just rejoin the living. Here at Trivia Murder Party, we believe even the deceased should have a chance to succeed. Here's how everyone's doing so far. It's real early though, so don't freak out. I've got more questions for you. I love sports traditions, like the serving of strawberries and cream at Wimbledon, or how after the Kentucky Derby, the jockeys eat the winning horse. I think they do. Well, if they don't, they should. According to tradition, what do the winners of the Indianapolis 500 drink after winning the big race? <laughs> Who picked this? Hmm, too easy. Let's try another one. Which film has a male playing the titular role? The correct answer is... This one? The rest of you who are still alive, prepare for your punishment. Welcome back to the killing floor. It's time to express yourself! Get your finger ready! Warm fuzzy feeling. Draw this thing as best as you can and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. 
I want you to pick the worst drawing. The votes are in. This is democracy at work, people. If only your crappy drawing died with you. And then there was one. I'm still hosing down the final room, so you'll just have to keep your shirt on. But for now, how about this? If you can survive the next two questions, I'll power up the final round and open the escape door. Alright, next question. The final problem featured the supposed death of what literary character? Someplace fun. Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. Okay, you've had enough time. And while we have a second, I'd like to take a moment and let you know that the brown footed lemur is almost extinct through the deforestation of Madagascar. So if you care about the planet like I do, here's what you can do. Oh, a Google alert. They're extinct. Never mind. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? Anything short of perfection and I'll kill you. Pattern. How'd you do? Drat, your brain saved your other organs. Let's try this again. What food company actually owns the Weight Watchers Weight Loss Clinics? Stretches, mathletes. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you can't get at least 15 right, you die. <laughs> math time. Let's go. Wow, this is just like watching a beautiful mind. Keep your focus, we're almost out of time. Every math class needs a remedial student. Terrible tragedy. I'd stay away from the old- Okay, this is a sequel, so expect the exact same structure as before, but with slight variables. Okay now, first question. Who portrayed Robert Shapiro in FX's The People vs. O.J. Simpson? Time's 
And the correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Welcome to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. So put a little thought into this. It's important. What's the silliest word you can think of? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. Pick which of these answers you hate the most. The person who wrote the answer with the most votes will die. Pick the answer that makes you go, oh hell no. Voting is not just a right, it's a privilege. The votes are in. Even freedom of speech is like, this should have been banned. This is where I keep track of all the scores, on this board. I call it a scoreboard. Please don't steal that name from me. Let's try another one. Who is the father of transcendentalism? One? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Welcome back to the killing floor. Oh look! There's a pile of money on the floor. That's weird. Wow, yeah. I guess it is proof that I'm important. Take as much money as you want, but take the most money or the least money, and you'll be sorry. Enjoy trying to get into each other's minds. <laughs> Let's see how much money everybody shoved in their pockets. It's punishment time for the most and least greedy. See how much fun you can have if you just have a giant pile of loose cash? <laughs> Just one remains? Well, I'm not done partying out here, so let's hold off on the end game for just a little bit. Okay, Sugar Beat? If you can somehow survive these next two questions, I'll give you a chance to escape during the final round. How about this? Why do I always get emails with such weird addresses? Just give me my penis enhancing pills and hot singles in my area already. What country is represented by the URL suffix .vn? <laughs> and the correct answer is... This one. Only a ghost got it wrong. Too easy. Here's another one. I know this because I'm addicted to the Great British Bake Off. What nut is used to make marzipan?
this. Very good. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Las Vegas Casinos. Tap on each answer that fits, then press Submit. Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Almost up. Here's another one. Chemical elements. Decisions, decisions. Can you stay out of the shadows? Romance language. today, kiddo.
Sie ist auf. Hi! The party's downstairs. Come on in. I was helping someone load his van. 